my uncles and aunties tell me that my head was very big when I was a kid. I like to deceive myself and think that it was to accommodate the big brain that God gave me. And a mouth large enough for two silver spoons. Life or death took them from me and gave me an iron hard wheel in its place. So like a swinging pendulum, I can boldly say I've seen both sides of life. And like a scratched CD disc, I seem to keep skipping the good parts of life. I want to be the best in as many areas as possible, except seeing patients. That one is in the hand of God. Because three or four or five birds in my hand is worth more than one million in the bush. But the price that I pay is that my works, which other people seem to wow over, is never good enough for me. And every time that I fail, my world is brought to a halt and reduces my universe to a single atom of negativity. I have been blessed with many interests, but thoughts of my future scares me. Because sometimes having many possibilities can be as bad as having one. And now I understand why in Endgame, Dr. Strange always had a faraway look in his eye. My attention span is as short as a mosquito's lifespan, leaving a trail of broken hearts and friendships in shambles after me. I battle darkness and addictions too, with the darkness in the world outside matching the black hole in my soul. But yet, as I grow older, I realize that my life is not for only me. And so I try to trap my stories in ink and pixels as much as possible for other people behind me to be able to dream and learn. So at the end of long days filled with blood, overbearing patience and long hours on my feet, and I lay on my bed with my eyes drawn through the darkness to a ceiling I cannot see, I cannot help but feeling like a very small ant on a very big rock floating through a very large dark space. Because in two centuries, I will not only be dead, but all people who have genuine memories of me gone. And yet, the rock will remain, the sun will shine on a new day, and life will continue. And so, everything I am will be for naught. And so, I, as I lie in the darkness in this hot March night, may the heat burn away my imper imperfections and leave me without flaws. May it burn away my anger and leave me with new fire. May it ignite the cinders within my soul and light me up from within. Me it on my coals to diamonds. So when everyone asks me, Lord, what is driving you? I want to leave a better world behind me. I want to prove myself worthy to the people that I love. And most importantly, to ensure that my pendulum never swings again. Thank you. <laughs>